Hello everyone. Good morning. Don't let my voice fool you. I feel better. Um, but I'll tell you about that in a little bit. For now. Today is gonna be a hot day, so I've decided to come and hang out with the girls and boys that I have between <laughs> my legs right now. Remember I told you yesterday that I thought that if I had to bet I thought that Annabelle would have, you know, babies first because of her ligaments. Well, today her ligaments are the same, but mochas are softer. They're acting just normal. They're fighting. That's what you can hear. Duke is on top of my kitten kit that I have in a plastic container, and the girls are trying to get him out. Let me show you. And Rocky is right here, as always, being a lab goat, scratching himself on my legs and wanting love. So as you can see, they're acting normal. That's Clara coming into the tree, Mocha. And then Annabelle is down there. You can see her goatee down there. They are still with each other. None of them are trying to look for a, you know, secluded place or kind of staying away from the others. So I think we are still okay. But their ligaments are soft. Now mukas are softer or... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. They feel like rubber so oh oh look at that hope is in timeout because she's being super silly this morning and i am not feeling the best so of course i decided to put her in a timeout and she's gonna scream for a while until she gives up hi duke hi boy he wants to play with my backpack but that is my stuff, I'm sorry. I checked on the girls a couple of times last night. Uh, they were doing good, nothing changed. They looked kind of bothered by me getting there and confused uh, because, you know, when I go typically in the morning or at night, I feed them, so of course they thought that I was going to feed them. But uh, they were kind of confused about the whole idea. But anyways, I got them orchard hay finally. I found it. They were not eating much of the Timothy hay that I could find in the meantime. It is more of a straw like... Hey! Duke, leave her! It's acting silly with Moga and Moga is just so done with him. I'm sorry, Mama. <laughs> Leave her! Duke! I was feeling sorry for him and being away from Clara, but at this point, I, I think it'd be a good thing when he moves in with his brother to the next pen. He's just being super annoying, and even though he's not a bug, so he cannot get anybody pregnant, he still tries to do the things, so... And right now, they're having a little confrontation. And Mocha is pretty fed up with them. So anyways, I got the orchard hay and they're pretty happy. They're eating, they're not wasting as much. And I think that I'm just not going to buy Timothy, even if we're out of, of it. I'm going to try to have something always kind of stored for those times where I can't find hay. It's been pretty hard to find orchard hay for me. I have to go to Eugene, which is up north, and that way I can get it. But if I'm not going up there, it's just such a long trip. It's about, what, three hours from us. So it's, it's a long trip. It's a day that I waste just to go get hay. And sometimes they just have limited quantities, so I can only buy... A certain amount and well anyways it's been kind of challenging I got quite a few as much as I could this time and I'm gonna try to continuously look for 
that maybe next week um, if we're up there in Eugene and that way just kind of start storing it because really the other things that I can buy locally are just garbage as far as <coughs> hay. Bless you. So, um, I don't know if farmers around us feed that to their goats or if they just have enough pasture that they don't give them hay. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I'm telling you, all the hay that I find around me, it's super expensive yeah. and it's just... Bro, stop it. And it's just not even good quality. So today I'm going to keep an eye on the girls. Their ligaments are soft. As I mentioned, Mocha's are softer than Annabelle's today. And I am going to stick around in the pen for as long as I can. Right now, I think I'm going to spend a few hours here. I am going through my seeds and I am going through a book about ducks. Um, I'm going to try to add some footage here, but my duck, Mighty, which is um, blue Swedish, kind of a great color, but I think that's the name. She, yesterday she stopped walking, and I think I wanted to mention this not only because, you know, it's my duck, but I also wanted to share it just in case that you do have ducks and maybe, you know, you're feeding the same thing that I'm feeding my ducks, and I don't think it's a great idea. Uh, when I started going to the closest feed store that I have, they only carried the egg layer feed and it's from payback now that is awesome for chickens but it's not great for ducks and i think the problem with her not being able to walk i mean she she's walking today but um i fed her a little bit of tuna in water because and the thing is that it doesn't have niacin, I think that's how you pronounce it. And that is something that Doug needs because their legs are not great. They're super flimsy and that's why they said you better not grab your ducks by their feet or don't make a habit of it because it really can mess them up. And we don't do that. She is the best duck that we have. She listens. She goes to bed when she's told. She comes out. She's not aggressive even when she's bruised and so I just felt so terrible when I saw her limping and you know walking two steps and then laying down and so I separated her last night I did a little bit of research and I think that I know that the payback egg layer feed I have a pregnant mom here demanding love so I think what happened is that uh, the feed really is not a complete feed for ducks. It's yeah, it's for egg production, but ducks need niacin, and chickens need to, but not that much. So I think that's why we are encountering this problem with mighty. So I read that you can give them tuna, and it has a lot of niacin and some. What is this yeast? nutritional yeast too you can sprinkle that in the food if you already have that food but I would say that if you have ducks and if you're feeding the payback egg, egg layer it's not a full nutrition for ducks so I am going to try to find the Purina one that one is specific for ducks and it does really have everything that they need as far as nutrition and that's at least according to what I read in this book that I'm going to show you. I don't know. I just wanted to share that. I separated her last night. I gave her food just by herself. I made sure she ate and she had water to kind of, you know, put it down. And um, I put her in a different house for the night and she was quite okay with that but this morning she was feeling a lot better and now she's walking around and she's broody again she's sitting on some eggs so I'm hoping that she'll be better but I am definitely buying the Purina feed because I don't I really thought that she was not gonna make it last night I mean I tried everything I could but she looked so sick and today she looks a lot better so thank goodness that she's okay I don't think she's still out of the you know 
danger zone, so I will continue to feed her food with niacin until I can get my hands on the Purina one, which I called around and there's one place that has it, so I'm gonna go and get it. But I think it's kind of ridiculous that it's so hard to find feed at this point and um, I'm kind of looking into making my own feed in the future right now I can't deal with one more thing but trying to be a little bit more responsible in case that things go bad and I really can't find the feed you know try to find things that I can replace or create my own feed for the ducks and even for the goats. So. Mocha has been here chilling out with me being petted I don't know if you can see this bones are starting to show a little bit more it's just looking more hollow can you see here um, I think it will look a lot more hollow as she gets closer but this here it's hollow now and it wasn't a few days ago if you've been watching my videos and I wanted to record the whole experience for me and for the girls. Now, as far as somebody was asking me about this, as far as about, okay, you can feel the babies or you can't feel the babies. Um, it's all about the how hard the belly is. Like on this side, can you see how it's like, this is belly side and this is baby side. And see, it's... It seems like it has water inside with babies. What do you think about motherhood right now, Mocha? Do you think it will be worth it? Mm, I think so too. I think you're going to have the most beautiful babies. Yes. Well, you are beautiful, so. You and your babies. Now people confuse the girls, um, especially Mocha and Okay, I'm getting worried about Annabelle. Just kind of pounding on the ground. Mm -mm. Annabelle, don't even think about that. She's smelling under the shed, which is an area that we have to close because I'm afraid babies will go in there and then won't be able to come out. Okay, so here is Annabelle. Now her ligaments are soft, but she's acting kind of different, so I'm kind of keeping a close eye on her. As you can see, she just wants pets. And I can still see babies moving. I don't know if you'll be able to see, not the breathing, but the moving. I can still see there's a little something there. There's what I think it's a hoof. Maybe it's a nose. But can you see how it moves? Not up here. Come on, baby. So I guess that means they're not in the canal to be born. Although, of course, that is what the books say. And I am trying to <laughs> follow what they say. But it also says that this is supposed to get straight. Can you see how it goes down like this? Well, this part is supposed to be completely straight. And that way it makes room for the baby to fit here and be able to come out. It makes sense in my head. Again, this is all stuff that I read. And I guess I am going to put it to the test now that the girls are actually so close. I always wonder, is this the last time I'm going to be able to touch them inside their belly? Am I going to be petting them outside belly soon? What do you think about motherhood? You want to talk about it, honey? Oh, yeah.
those dogs. Silly dogs. You're okay, mommy. She's not afraid of the dogs or anything. She knows they can't come in unless I let them in. So she's not worried, so don't worry about her. She's fine. I love you, sweet Annie. Okay, something I'm gonna say. They're still not there. 